everyone, so I'm here with another Tuesday Night Beauty Tips video for you. Question this week comes from Tamara's Makeup. Tamara would like to know what you can do to get rid of pimples. Well, there's lots of things. I find that the Honey and Milk Mask works very well. I have a video on that and I'll put a link to it in the underbar. I also find that the brown sugar and lemon juice exfoliant that I use um, works really well and I have a video on how to do that and I'll put a link to that in the underbar as well. Now another thing that works really well is honey and cinnamon mixed together into a paste and the reason that that works so well is because honey is a natural antibiotic and cinnamon will also draw any bacteria out of the pimple. So if you mix those together as a paste, put it on your pimple and leave it overnight, you'll find that your pimple is greatly reduced and the redness is significantly reduced by morning. Your pimple may even be gone. The only thing is, if you have sensitive skin, you want to be very careful about doing this because the cinnamon can burn your skin if your skin's very sensitive and you don't want to do it more than like one or two nights in a row. Because if you do it too many nights in a row, what's going to happen is you're going to like wind up with like, it's not even like a sunburn, it's more like a rug burn is what it's going to look like and you don't want that. A lot of people use toothpaste on pimples. Um, if you're going to do that, use the old fit fashion, you know, white toothpaste, don't use the gel. Uh, the gel doesn't work as well and when you do it, don't do it too many nights in a row because it will burn your skin. Like I have the least sensitive skin in the world um, because I do so much crap to it and I find that if I do the toothpaste more than one night in a row, I wind up with this red scaly blotch where the pimple was and quite frankly I'd rather have the pimple than the red scaly blotch. Another good one that I've done is tea tree oil. If you take a little, just a little drop of tea tree oil and place it on your pimple, it'll sting for a few seconds, but it will clear it up. Well, a lot of women like to use uh, apple cider vinegar, and they will either rinse their face with it or apply it with a cotton pad. And it is good for reducing wrinkles, and it does produce a rosy glow. The unfortunate thing is that it smells to the high heavens. And yes, the smell does dissipate after you've got it on for a while. However, if you sweat or it rains, it brings the smell back, so it's going to be horrid. So, you know, use that one at your own risk. Our next question comes from the Foxy Loxy. Now, she would like to know how you know where to start and stop with blush so, to, so that it looks natural and how to get a healthy glow. Okay, I'm not sure what you mean by the how to know where to start and stop. But anyway, you're going to want to, when you're doing it, you don't want to come too close to your nose because it's going to look unnatural. So you want right around, like if you smile, the apple of your eyes is pretty much right directly under the pupil. Okay? And so basically you don't want to come any farther forward than that. And you don't want to go up too high because if you get up under your eye too far with the blush, it's going to look unnatural. Additionally, a lot of girls will show you to apply your blush on a diagonal like this. That's great if you have a round or a wide face. If you have a skinny face like I do, you're going to want to apply your blush like this. It'll look more natural. But if you have a skinny face like me and you apply your blush like this, you're going to wind up with a horse face. Seriously, your face is going to look extremely long. So you want to do it this way. But if you do have a wide face, then come down with it like this, but come no farther forward than this. The apples of your cheeks are right under your, under your pupils. Now with the under color, like if you're using a contour color, then you're going to come under about as far as the pupil and then kind of just flick it up a little bit, but again not coming any farther forward than that. Now with the blush color, you're going to smile so you see the apples of your cheeks and you're going to take it and you're just kind of going to apply it there but sweep it back. To get a healthy glow, okay, you apply bronzer either over or under your blush. Now, I find the best way to do this is if your blusher, or sorry, if your bronzer has a shimmer, apply it over top of the blush. If it's a matte, apply it underneath the blush. And I find that that can give you a really nice healthy glow. If you accidentally overdo it and you apply too much blush, because you know, you don't want to get too much, apply a loose or pressed powder over top of it because it will subdue the color a bit and the color will appear to be peeking through the powder which will give you a much more natural look and a more natural glow. 
Gerby062708 would like to know if I shop online. She's from the Philippines and she finds it very difficult to find places that ship internationally and she worries in case things are scams because you know you're paying out money. I almost fell out of my chair. And um, what if you don't get your product? I never used to shop online at all. I do now, occasionally. I do, I bought a couple things off eBay and I bought some stuff from Cherry Culture. There are a lot of online stores that ship internationally and will ship to the, the Philippines. I know Belvada is one. I'm not sure if Cherry Culture does, but I think that they do. And I am hoping that some of the people watching tonight, or tomorrow, or whatever day you watch this video for that matter, will tell you different stores that ship internationally so that you can have more more options open to you. So if anybody knows of any online stores that ship internationally, can you please post them in the comments below for Gerby. Surfer OSA Online would like me to talk about nail polish. Now I'm not really sure what you wanted me to talk about about it. Um, I'm probably the least person that should talk about nail polish because I'm cheap. Okay, I'll be honest with you, I buy the NYX nail polishes for like $3.99. I buy the NYC or New York Color ones, $0.99 cents or $1.99. Little Miss 60 1995 has a problem where when she applies her nail polish, it chips a lot. It'll stay for the day, but then it chips. And even though she uses a base coat and a top coat, her nail polish still chips. So she wants to know if we have any tips for that. Well, again, I'm not good for that because I tend to, you know, not worry about chipping that much. And when I do, I just kind of touch it up. But one thing that I have noticed, if I really need my nail polish to last, I got this from CoverGirl. I don't know if you can see it, it's like little sparkles. And I've used that for a top coat a couple of times and it works amazing to keep the chipping away. Like seriously amazing. No matter, I could use the cheapest nail polish in the world and I put this on top and it will not chip. It's really awesome. I've also noticed that the NYC nail polishes don't chip very much. The NYX ones do, the New York Color ones don't. Another one that I know, I know Rimmel has a nail polish this guaranteed not to chip for 10 days, I believe. So you might want to check that. And if you guys have any tips for Little Miss 60, 1995, please, please let her know in the comments below. Forever Tulip wants to know uh, natural ways to get rid of scars and some tips for good skin. Well, Forever Tulip, to get rid of scars, and again, a really good thing is that lemon juice and brown sugar exfoliant, it will really help fade the scars. See, when you have scars, there is no way to absolutely, completely remove them other than getting laser resurfacing or something done. However, you can fade them so that they are barely visible or, you know, not visible really to the naked eye. So, if you, the brown sugar and lemon juice is a good one. I'll put a link to that video in the underbar as I mentioned before. Um, put lemon juice on your face and leave it overnight. That'll help fade it too. I've also heard if you put on an egg white, you know a lot of women do that to tighten their skin. If you leave it on overnight, I've heard it's really good for lightening scars. Um, other ways, I've heard yogurt is really good for fading scars. You know, there's a lot of different things that you can try. And if you guys have any other tips for, for fading scars, please put them in the comments below. You know, last week there was, or not last week, it was just last night actually, on the last Tuesday night video that I did before my computer died, so it's like weeks and weeks ago now, and a girl like was adding in her tips, and at the end she said, I know this isn't my video, and I feel really bad telling you all this, but I just want to be helpful. And I replied to her comment actually and told her, no, that's wonderful because that is the whole spirit of these Tuesday night videos. It's for us all to help each other and share our tips back and forth as if we're sitting around having a coffee together. Like that's, that's the whole point of this guys. So please, please, please share your tips with one another. As I said, Forever Tulip also wanted some tips for good skin. Uh, one of the best tips I can give you is to make sure you drink lots of water each day. Now I know everybody says that and everybody's like, why is that a good tip? It hydrates your skin so well, it keeps you from getting like crepiness and some of the, your lines under here are from dehydration. So if you make sure that you have lots of water, it also keeps your skin hydrated. You want to make sure you use sunscreen every day of your life. Whether it be winter, raining, summer, no matter what, use sunscreen every day of your life. It will reduce your 
possibility of getting future wrinkles like you would not believe and it will reduce your risk of sun damage like that is the most important beauty tip that I can give to anybody and I make my daughter do it I make my sons do it 95% of all wrinkles are caused by the sun so you know what you want to use a good broad broad spectrum uh, sunblock and you want to use it every day no matter what the weather is like I even use it when I'm in the house did you know that you can get sun damage through a window so I even use I use it every day of my life and that is the best tip that I can give you it, it your skin will thank you so much for it uh, drink lots of green tea it's a good antioxidant uh, it helps get rid of free radicals and it's very good for your skin I believe it's either strawberries or raspberries correct me if I'm wrong I'm gonna say strawberries but if I'm wrong and it's raspberries let me know is another very good antioxidant so if you're eating lots of raspberries I actually like to put uh, green tea on my skin because it's such a good um, such a good antioxidant I just I take six green tea bags and make it like into it with two cups of water and then I pour it into I'm sorry I'm talking with my hands again sorry guys I pour it into a spray bottle and then I just uh, spray it onto a cotton pad and rub it all over my face every morning and evening always moisturize that's another good one uh, another good one I can give you but I don't know how you guys are gonna feel about this is never use soap do not use soap on your face I haven't used soap on my face since I was 15 I wash my face, as you know from a couple of videos, I've mentioned it, with Lubriderm Moisturizing Lotion. No, it's not a facial moisturizer. I do use it as one, but no, it's not. It's marketed as a body moisturizer. Uh, it's not mar marketed as a cleanser either, but it does a magnificent job. It completely removes all my makeup. It leaves no residue, and my skin doesn't get that dry, tight feeling, and it, my skin always looks fresh. So that is what I use. I would never use soap. There, are, If you don't want to use that, there's all kinds of commercial cleansers on the market. A lot of them are very good. Cetaphil is a good one. Uh, Neutrogena has some excellent products for cleansing. But there's lots of cleansers out there that you can get besides soap. Don't use soap on your face. So and another great tip for good skin is to make sure you get lots of sleep at night because if you don't, it shows on your face. If anybody else has any tips for good skin for Forever Tulip, because I'm sure there's a million things I'm forgetting, please feel free to list them in the comments below. Anyway, this has been another Tuesday Night Beauty Tips with Tracy. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please, if you have any questions that you would like me to, or anything you would like me to talk about in next week's video, let me know in the comments below, and I'll make sure I include them in next week's video. Now, on my other channel, I'm going to be uploading another uh, Relationship Advice Tuesday Night video tonight. So you might want to check that out. So I'll put an annotation somewhere here, probably up here. And I'll also put a link in the underbar in case you guys want to check that out. That should be lots of fun. And I guess I'll see you next time. 